Good morning, Trail Mafia. So today is the stereo system day. I got most of the wiring finished up in the last one. Um, we're going to be working on getting custom speaker mounts made up uh, for this uh, to be put in the roof and also getting power speakers. Uh, the radio is already wired. I just got to run the speaker wire uh, and then get these mounts put in for made and put in for the roof speakers and get the rear mounts put up too. Um, so let's go into this right now. So, yes, that is a soft fan. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, so what I'm running in the roof are these Rockville speakers. Um, these are 350 watt speakers. Um, I wanted something that was able to sound good, uh, be decently loud and stuff like that because once you get over a certain amount of range, uh, it becomes hard to hear these speakers. So I put these here uh, in there and these are the speakers I wanted. I ended up picking these up off Amazon pretty cheaply. Uh, so they're pretty good. Um, I got these little connectors right here. Push lock connectors that will be put in there as well. Got the wiring and stuff on them as well. Um, and then I probably spent $75 in adapters to make this work. I was gonna stack them like this. And that would fit, that would work. But as you can see, it doesn't look the greatest when you have it on the roof. It doesn't look right, it doesn't seem right. And it just didn't match. So I ended up stepping away from this. And I went to my local Dollar General and they had these saucepans there. These saucepans were $12. These saucepans are the perfect size for these speakers. Uh, they are deep enough, right there. They have what you need there. Uh, they do have a handle on them, which we don't want, but it's there. Um, but they end up looking pretty similar to that whenever it's done. Um, so these actually, I already did one. I'll show you here in a second. Um, and they turned out, the, that one turned out great. I'm gonna hopefully do as good if not better on this one. So when we get into this, here's what I got. I know it's really hard to see. There we go, that's a little bit better. So this is the speaker mount I have. They are gasketed off to the roof so we don't have rattling. They are bolted to the roof. They go through the roof and bolt there because these are gonna go with the roof if I ever take the roof off uh, because it was just the easiest way to do it. Um, the the speakers in there this thing is solid it's moving the whole buggy um so it ain't going nowhere uh these speakers i have no doubt are going to be really really good speakers everybody says they're some of the best speakers out there so uh these would be good the neon lights are not going to be put on this because i lost the wiring harness and i can't seem to find a replacement and i don't want to buy another set of speakers that i don't need so um these are there they are a nice sturdy mount they are not going anywhere they should look really nice when it's all said and done and you have two of them sitting right there like that so from that point i got these push lock up front to uh put on the positive and negatives and it should be a pretty nice speaker setup when i'm done so Let's get to a point where I get over here and get a tripod set up and then I go over how I made these things. All right, so first things first, uh, you'll see this wonderful yellow line that I put in here. Uh, these are aluminum pans, so they're not very heavy. Um, you can go with steel if you really want to. It's, it's whatever you can get. I mean, the cheaper the better because this is a lot cheaper than one of those adapters sets worth. $12 versus I think those are $20 a set. So I spent $24 on these pans for two of them, and it was okay. I ended up with some gasketing from uh, one of these speaker sets. Uh, you can just use rubber hose uh, and put it on the edge of it so it just doesn't rattle. I also have these little rings here that they're supposed to go around the edge of the speaker. They go like that so that they can hold and seal the speaker edge. Um, this has a white grill on, grill on it right now. I'm gonna use that as testing purposes because the black grill is gonna be the final and it's going to be the one that I wanna put on there. 
So, at this point, uh, I got everything marked out. I am using a drill. I will drill holes, four or five holes in this, six holes, whatever, just to just to make connection points for my jigsaw. Now I will use my jigsaw over there, and I will cut out the hole. And I'm not taking the handle off until this is completely cut out because that way that gives me something to hold on to uh, while I'm doing this. And then whenever the handle does come off, you'll notice in here. I don't need that no more. Uh, you'll notice in here there's two pop rivets. These two pop rivets are just a tiny bit smaller than these two deals right here. So I'm going to take the pop rivets, I'm going to cut them off my Dremel. And then I will pop the handle off, get the rivets out, then I have two holes there. I will widen the holes just a touch with the drill bit. And whenever I do that, I can just pop those in and orient them as well. Uh, now, with this one, I marked out from the last one, because of how I did it, first, first rendition. Uh, but I marked where the uh, stuff was that I was doing. I gotta make sure that I mark the other grill or even that one at that point because they're useless now. Uh, and mark out these because I want to make sure I clock them right so whenever I put holes in the roof that uh, these are clocked to the right position. So I'm going to get you guys set up on a tripod. I'm going to start drilling holes on this wonderful non-stick saucepan. So and if anybody's wondering, it is a two-quart saucepan from Dollar General. It's $12. So let's get to it. All right. So first things first, try to have it as level as an area as you possibly can. Uh, being that the handle does sit down, it doesn't allow the pan to sit down. You can take the handle off a little easier, but I want the handle to be able to hold this in a good spot. So whenever you drill this, Make sure that your drill marks don't go past your line. That bit is pretty much destroyed. Uh, so be aware that anytime you drill aluminum like this, that you are going to destroy whatever kind of bit you have. So, I grab my battery pack. I'll get to using the jigsaw. So, um, I'm using just a so I am using just a Ryobi jigsaw at this point um, I do have a Diablo blade in it uh, that allows me to uh, cut through metal if you are using a jigsaw as well um, you have the option of pole saws. I had a hole saw that I thought was big enough for this, but it's not. Uh, so I ended up having to jigsaw it out. And on top of that, it's something made for a little bit. So um, we're just going to use this. The whole reason you want the jigsaw is it's a relief where you can start. So let's cut this.
got a bottle of corn. Not straight by any means. But there. Well, let's double check our speaker again. Okay, speaker is sitting flush. Okay, now before we go to the point of drilling these holes out right here, what we want to do is find our audio audio jacks right here, and we know where they're going to go on this point. So you want to set it up. So that it's setting pretty close to there. Now we gotta either mark this out, which it's kind of hard to do with this uh, because of how the speakers are. Um, I don't know if I can get this down in there for that. That's not gonna work, I do. Yeah, that's not reaching. So, Uh, so that's not working. So I have to come back here in a second. Let me grab a smaller drill bit to where we can have this all set up. And I'll drill out these holes with a smaller drill bit and then set them up to run our 10 by 24. Right through it. So I'll be right back. All right, so I came back with a smaller drill bit. I drilled this out. Um, you'll see that these, this, that one walked, and that one. So we're gonna drill these through. So with this and the way this is set up, I need the hole to run this 1024 through. That's a little tight. I'm gonna have to come back through with the uh, other drill bit. Just open off a touch. Uh, with these two holes right here, I am actually not putting the all thread through it. It's only going to have two bolts going through the roof. I messed up on that one thinking that I need all four. It's too hard to line up all four. So, with these, I'm just going to open them up, touch. Give it a shot. Okay. So now I have my two holes lined up for this. Let's use the speaker drill. It's a little bit easier of a demonstration on this. Uh, so that one is there. That one is there. So with those two holes lined up, you may have to adjust it a touch. So with those two holes lined up, or uh, opened up enough for my all to go through. With this. Uh, the all will go in there, and it'll hold itself up. Um, now these other two, I'm going to throw screws into. So that they, uh, the speaker itself will be held. Um, but before I go to that point and install the speaker, we got a little bit of work to do on the inside of the pan. So let me grab the Dremel. I will be back in a second.
here we go. So all I did was do that. No damage on this side. You can see a bit of the carnage on that side. Uh, so let me see. That's the same size as that. So I have to get the uh, step bit back out. And we are going to drill through these. And we're just going up two sizes so that I am able to uh, fit my deals in there. And then I'm just going to come back across. All I'm doing is dressing up the edge of the hole. So that whenever I put this in there that it'll be nice and flush. I'm gonna do the same on the inside. Don't go, go crazy. All we want to do is be able to fit these heels in there. So I will take pliers. Since I already put these in there, I gotta take them back out. wires will be put in there and then uh, these will be connected to here so they're off to the side these are nice shrink wrap connectors too so uh, let me get that all taken care of and then I will be right back all right so not sure where you guys last seen but um, at this point um, I have the speaker mounted uh, with the grill black grill in there all wired up at that point um, the camera actually died and uh, I, would, I lost the footage. I didn't know it was dying at the time. But I ended up putting, you can see right here on each side, since I only need two speakers, or two uh, bolts in this old speaker up, uh, I have one with the two here and then two here. So now what I gotta do is, yeah, put that up in there. You can see this really nice long drill bit that I have uh, that I'll be able to put through here and mark out on the roof and be able to uh, get that going and then we can put this in and get it mounted up top i gotta just make sure that whenever i do that that i clock my little uh deals here so that i can have that and i also want to try to keep enough room to run the uh the wire up in there or the speaker wire uh also i gotta get the gasket put on it right up in there because I want to make sure it has the proper depth. Um, once I get this put in, I'm gonna mount it up, get the both sides tightened up with the all thread. I have the all thread sitting here, uh, so I got the all thread here. I'll get the both sides put up with the all thread and uh, get them tightened up on there, and uh, I'll run it through the top and. I'll leave them extended to the top and then once I have both sides I'll pull one side off at a time and then go ahead and do everything else I gotta do at that point. Uh, cut off the end and so on and so forth. So uh, give me a minute, I gotta get in there and get this all set up and go from there. Alright all right, guys, so I didn't bring you along for that one because you know, it's kind of a pain to hold up there and everything. Uh, you'll see I did not trim this out. Uh, this side is uh, trimmed out, but um, I have one piece that was already cut. But up here you can see it, the two holes, catty corn from each other, really dirty in here. Um, and there's a there. Uh, 
and that's how it'll be. And it's just like that. I will come back through with my Dremel, cut that off so it's not sticking down anymore. And then at that point, the speakers are installed. I have easy access to my positive and negative bungs I put in there. And I can run my speaker wire from here down the cage back into over to here, which is where my uh, speaker wire connectors are. So uh, I'm going to trim this off. I'll bring you guys in for a final result. And I'm going to get this wired up and I will show you guys how it sounds. All right, so we got it all installed here. Um, I temporarily got wires run through right now because I got to run them across the roll cage. I got to run like 30, yeah, three quarters away. Uh, I got the back speakers put in. I got to finish up that wiring too. I just have them sitting here because I still got to attach them to the roll cage. Uh, I got some other stuff to do before I do that. But um, it is all put in and it is ready to be tested. So let's do this. So I'm going to turn on my Switch Pro right there, kick on the radio, right here, alright, that means I'm connected, let's find some royalty free stuff, in a second, um, let's do this. show you how I wired this in so I got bullet connectors and I shrink wrapped everything up real nice I actually ran four individual speaker wires straight off the amp this is a four channel amp uh, one for each speaker I have in here I could have spliced into them and ran them in series um, or bridged them even uh, but I figured let's use the full 800 watt capacity of it I actually went through and I turned the gain up the entire way on the amp because my old speakers couldn't do that and um, that was about it so as far as the wiring being run I'm gonna go through and I'm actually gonna tape up the wiring we have here um, and just neaten it up it's, this doesn't really need to be loomed like the other stuff because it has a really thick coating on it it's actually um, 16 gauge speaker wire this is meant for outdoors and uh, marine applications so I bought this stuff, I mean you can see right here, this is um, some decent speaker wire, it's aluminum construction I guess, uh, is what it's supposed to be, copper plated aluminum, um, but it has a really nice thick jacket on it so it's not going to get damaged, um, 
I just have everything temporarily run right now. Uh, I gotta go through and just button it all up and just finish it up whenever I do uh, everything, go get that, ready to put back together. I'm getting close to being almost done with this thing, so uh, it should be good. But you can actually see right here, ran a, I started at 12.7 uh, on this whenever I first started this. Uh, and now we drop 0.4 volts, so it's at our bypass right now. Everything's out, so we're all good at that point. So at that point, guys, appreciate you coming over and uh, seeing this active debauchery, I guess you can call it, uh, making saucepans into speaker pods. Um, I tried and tried to try to find something that was a little bit easier of a way to do this than doing it this way, but nothing I could find was gonna work for me and be cost efficient without spending a ton of money or making my own custom mounts even more complicated than this. So at this point, um, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I mean, you can see down here, they look pretty decent um, and I'm happy with that. The speaker wire obviously being there is whatever at this point, but uh, that'll be all picked up and cleaned up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please like, comment, and subscribe on this. I hope you have a good day. See you later.